Hello, my name is Natasha and I've been wearing this makeup for 13 or 14 hours, so please don't judge. After being subscribed to Glossy Box and being unhappy, I then subscribed to Starlux, Starbox from Starlux. I wasn't too pleased with that either, so I cancelled that subscription too. And now I am trying out Lip Factory for a couple of months. It's a subscription from the US. It is 30... $2 I believe including postage but um, this is solely a makeup cosmetic box so you won't be getting any moisturizers and body lotions and things like that I was getting too many of those and just I kind of lost interest in all honesty and I wanted to focus on cosmetics so let's take a look at what I got in April's box so you just get a little pamphlet with everything that you've got inside um, not exactly, you know, the money isn't spent on this or booklets or postcards or anything else that you get with Birch Box and Glossy Box and things like that. The money goes to, appears to go to the products rather than the extra additional things. As you have may have come accustomed with beauty boxes, they come with the wrapping paper and the little um, wiggly bits of paper. Um, and everything has been packaged really quite well. Um, but I'll take you through everything that I got. And first up is uh, Jessie, Jessie's Girl Coal Formula Eyeliner in the colour black. This is $1.99. It's a 5 inch long liner with a built in cap sharpener which makes it absolutely perfect for the girl on the go. So there's, yeah, the sharpener is in the lid. Um, and I'm not going to open this because I don't go through that many black eyeliners. I really love my Rimmel Scandal Eyes um, and I'll be using that and also I got a Model Co one free with Glamour which I didn't think it was that great but it also had the sharpener in the lid so this is going to remain sealed for the time being. The next thing in my box is from Be A Bombshell and this is an eye crayon in the colour Fetish. kind of like the name, I can't get into it though. It's a 2.5 gram pencil, I put it all over the lid as, your, as a base or um, you can use it alone for a striking and bold makeup look. Either way, this highly pigmented and creamy eye crayon is a wonderful ingredient to a gorgeous face of makeup. So as you can see, it's quite a bright purple color, but um, I really am quite a fan of purple, so <laughs> this is something that will probably get some use. I do have an issue with eye crayons and different things creasing in my eyes, so it'll probably need a base or something. I'll have to try that out. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this color, in fact, I've got a Shimura lipstick that I really like, it's this colour and it would probably be a bit too matchy matchy if I wore them both together, but maybe I will do one day. I don't know if I told you, that was $14. Next up is another item from Be A Bombshell and this is an eyeshadow in the colour Divine, a light blue colour. It's $14 and I have to admit the blue is maybe a colour that I wouldn't really wear, but it's very beautiful and I think when you look at my beauty profile and the colours that I answered and the colourings that I say that I've got, they've chosen a colour that actually you would imagine would suit me. It's a very um, pale sort of frosty blue and once I swatch it, it kind of looks like a silvery blue so it might be a colour that's um, more wearable than I thought it was. Next up is a NYX Butter Gloss in the colour Peaches and Cream. Apparently this is never sticky, so it's $5 and I've heard quite a lot about these. And I really am quite a fan of this bright orangey colour that I've got. Um, and it does indeed smell very sweet and cookie like. Kind of an, I don't know, a neon cross between a pink and an orange, so maybe a corally colour. I like it so much I'm going to put it on right now. I really like this, it's not sticky at all. Um, Unfortunately, we're not in natural light because it's the evening, as I said, I just got home from work. Um, but I think, yeah, it's a pretty true representation of what it looks like in real life. And I think it's great for the price. Might invest in a few more of those. Next up is another lip product, and this is an Ofra lipstick. I've never heard of the brand Ofra. O-F-R-A, I might be saying it wrong. Um, and I got this lipstick in the colour 107. And these are $13. Um, it says, play up those lips beautiful. 
Okay, with a moisturising formula enriched with antioxidants, vitamin E and natural sunscreen, the lipsticks are just what you need in your makeup bag to finish off your perfect look. So as I said, I got this in the colour 107. Now the final thing is, um, I, want to, I kept it in the packaging because I wanted to show you how well wrapped this is. And um, this is a nail polish and they've got it in a bag and then they've also got it wrapped in tissue as well so it's been really well packaged and I think that's an excellent thing okay be prepared for this because this is another love of my life I love it um, <laughs> so as I said this is a colour club nail polish um, it's eight dollars and this is the colour Peace Out Purple now this is kind of a neon-y purple I would call it sort of pinky purple but neon and I am instantly in love. Um, all of the products in the box are full size, I think I forgot to say that earlier on, but this is a 15ml size. Um, I haven't got on too well with Colour Club um, polishes that I've tried before in terms of longevity on my nails, it just, the formulation doesn't seem to work that well for me, but they have some really brilliant colours. I have a really bright orange that I love and this is also incredible. So that is everything that I got in April's Lip Factory box and I have to admit that I pretty much love everything. Um, four out of five are ultimate, our instant favourites. The, um, the eye pencil, the lip um, butter gloss, the lipstick are all pretty cool and the nail varnish are, is also brilliant. Um, the only reason I, I'm not too excited about the eyeliner is because I've got quite a few and the eyeshadow just because I'm not quite sure how the colour is going to work for me personally. All of the products are full size and I think it's $56, I can't remember, um, in value and I think that's brilliant. I am definitely going to keep it going for another month. In fact, they'd already taken the money out for May's box before I'd even received April, so whether I liked it or not, I was receiving another box, but I do like it, so that's brilliant. Um, if you subscribe to Lip Factory, let me know what you think, or even if you think this is a good box and you're interested or whatever, I will um, leave the website below, and if I've got one of those subscription things and you want to join and we both get something then brilliant, I'll put that code below, if there is one, I don't know. I've seen some other people's boxes and they have the same products but in very different colours so it appears that they really read your beauty profile and what you've said and you can adjust it every month and you'll receive other things that are a little bit more accurate to what you've said that you're interested in receiving um, and I think that is excellent after months and months of receiving things that I'm just never really gonna wear <laughs> these things are brilliant and I have fallen head over heels already and let's hope that that continues <laughs> So take care, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.